it was seen that there is a possibility that um, the coronary artery disease later on in life may be associated with the history of endometriosis earlier. And so it's an intriguing finding. Endometriosis is a condition in which the lining of the uterus, so think of the lining as the inside layer of the uterus, that is the layer of the uterus within which an embryo implants, that is the layer within which a baby begins its, uh, its journey of life. Now that layer of course belongs inside the uterus because we all know that in, endometrio in, in, in pregnancy the baby grows inside the uterus. <clears throat> In some patients, what happens, or in some people, what happens is that those, that lining somehow finds its way outside the uterus and then grows on top of different organs, such as the tubes, the ovaries, the inside lining of the belly, and pretty much anywhere um, all over the body. When we find the uterine lining in a position where it's not normally supposed to be, that's endometriosis. It's as common as it can be discovered. So the only way in which endometriosis can ever be found is for a doctor to actually surgically look for it and diagnose it. And of course we know that every single person cannot have surgery done. So we do not know what the true number of patients is, but if we average studies, it seems that one out of 10 women especially one out of 10 younger women in their reproductive age group could have endometriosis. The message that I don't want young women to walk out with is that they are now suddenly doomed to have a high history of coronary artery disease and what's gonna happen next.